This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. Okay, let's go ahead and log into our server. Let's go ahead and type in the password. And let's go ahead and go over here in Server Manager. We could select Local Server. And we can see all of our Ethernet adapters. This one just happens to have six in it. I'll just click on one. I don't have any of them connected yet. I'm actually going to connect them, and as I connect them, I'm going to label them so that I know exactly which one is which. If we go ahead and connect all of them and then try to label them afterwards, we could get it wrong, and then when we try to set up a team, we might get some weird results. So it's a good idea while you're at the physical server to label these NICs. Because just because on the back of the server it might say this is NIC1, that doesn't guarantee that this Ethernet is associated with NIC1 and NIC2 is associated with Ethernet2. In fact, it probably isn't the case. So if we look at the back of this server right now, and I actually added another uh, PCIe card with two NICs in it right here, I'm going to plug this NIC in and this is going to be for for this team here that's going to have our IP address on it so it's going to be our management network that we're going to use to manage our Hyper-V host so let me go plug that in okay I plugged it in it's gonna ask me do you want to find PCs devices and content on this network I'll go ahead and click yes this is just going to make my uh, firewall profile as private so I can see that was Ethernet 2 that I just plugged in so I'm going to click on it to rename it and I'm gonna call this one let's say host management network one now I may want to label what switch port I actually plug it into so maybe this is switch one so I'd put an S1 there and then I plugged it into port let's say 14 so S1 P14 that lets me know exactly where this is plugged into on the switch so that if I have any questions and I need to maybe go to a network administrator, I can tell them, yes, this is plugged into switch 1 port 14. Or if I'm the network administrator, it allows me to easily see where it's plugged in. As opposed to having to go to the data center and maybe read a label that's on the Ethernet cable or having to trace the cable. So in my case, though, I'm just going to call it host management network, and I'm just going to call it 1. Next, I'm going to plug this NIC in. This is going to be the second part of that host management network team that we're creating here. So this orange team. Okay, that's plugged in. I can see that came up as Ethernet 5 here. So you can tell this would be pretty difficult to predict exactly what number uh, Ethernet corresponds to what physical NIC. So I'm going to call this one host management network 2 and next I'll go ahead and plug in this NIC to the switch it's going to be part of our team that's going to be used for our virtual switch okay and I can see that that one came up as Ethernet here so let's label this one virtual machine network 1 And finally, I'm going to plug this NIC into the switch. That's going to be the last part of our team. That's going to be for our virtual switch. Okay, and I can see that came up at Ethernet 6. Let's go ahead and rename that. And we're going to call this one Virtual Machine Network 2. And I'm currently not going to use my other two Ethernet adapters, so I'm just going to disable those. I'll just right click on it and disable. I may decide to use those later on. Great, so now we've got all of our network cards labeled so we know exactly what they're going to be used for. Again, we could add the port number that they're actually plugged into on the switch to give us more information. Doing this again while we're at the physical server can save us a lot of headaches down the road. And also making a consistent naming convention across all of our Hyper-V hosts. So 
all of our ones that all of our NICs that are going to be used for a virtual machine network are labeled that way. If we have multiple subnets we're working with, we might want to label which subnet they're plugged into. We want to create a naming convention that's appropriate for our environment and be consistent with it across all of our servers.